Wellset Labs versus Merv versus Speechello. In today's video, I'm going to compare these three text to speech voice generators and tell you which one is the best and which one is acceptable to use. Now, instead of not paying for this and just randomly making a review, I've actually been using these softwares for a while. You can see I've generated over 565 voices here on Speechello. I've also been using Merv as well as well sat labs as you can see right there so i'm someone that has paid plans for all these softwares and i can tell you exactly which one is the best which one is acceptable and which one you should not choose let's get into that right away so starting off with well sat labs now about well sat labs i basically have nothing negative to say the reason for that is because all of the voices sound pretty pretty good with these voices compared to speech shadow for example you cannot really tell it's a text-to-speech voice and i'll demonstrate that in a bit if i simply click right here you can see all the voices show up if i just play a few of them for you for example celine your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly mm -hmm. imagine trust your if you put that into a script, it sounds fantastic. For example, Jeremy. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. And the list goes on and on. All these voices are really good. In terms of making it sound like actual human beings, Wellset Labs wins for sure above Murf AI as well as Speechello. But what we also have to keep in mind is the pricing, which I'll reveal in a bit, and then we can put these in places. But overall, Wellset Labs is a fantastic software because the voices sound really good, as well as the usability, it's pretty simple. What you simply do, you put in your script, you click create, and you're done. You can see I've been doing that for a while now. For example, hello, oops, I got cat block. Hello, in this video, I will compare well set labs versus Merf ai just like that you then click create it's going to create your voiceover and there you go it is now done you can download it you can change the text you can play it pretty awesome i'll play that for you hello in this video i will compare well said labs as Merf i all right so you can see that doesn't work that well the reason for that is because we're using vs instead of versus and then Merf dot ai that should work better you click create you change it and there you go let's play it hello in this video i will compare well said labs versus murf a all right still not too great so you can see sometimes it doesn't pick up every single word you have to play around with this but for example if i play these ones as the world of youtube shorts continues to evolve it's crucial to stay ahead of the curve and prepare for the future or maybe this one if you haven't heard the news yet, let me be the first to tell you, YouTube Shorts are going to be monetized in 2023, and this is a game changer. You can see that sounds pretty good. So this is done after putting in some work, some adjustments, all of that good stuff. If you want to find out how to do so, I'll leave a full platform guide in the description down below. But the voice sounds awesome. Now, if we compare that to Murph AI, we'll quickly open up a project here. You can see that Murph AI still has a lot of good sounding voices. However, some of them are a bit tricky. So I have loaded in a script. Let me just show you some of the voices. So they have pro voices as well as free ones. So I have the pro plan, so I have access to these. For example, they've got Natalie, which is kind of like the TikTok voice, which we can play right now. So how this works, you click generate audio and then you can play. So in terms of usability, Murph AI is pretty good. Murph AI might win over WellSap Labs, in my opinion. It's not that this one is bad, but you can see I don't like the layout as much as Murph AI. Murph AI layout, much better. If Speechello comes in, they lose it to both because the layouts and the usability is, is kind of not great. It's also due to the price, which I'll get to in a bit. But if I do Natalie and I play this, you can hear what this sounds like. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? So you can see it's really like the TikTok voice. I'll play her here as well. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made with real chicken. You get it. So that's great for short form content, but you also have normal voices like Rachel, who's really great. Voice recordings can be tough. I remember the time I was waiting for weeks just. Or maybe Terrell. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. 
So you can see that Murph AI has some advanced voices that sound really unique. Terrell is a great example for that. Really unique, deep kind of voice. Rachel is good as well, and they've got many more. I've made a video about the best voices as well. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. My personal favorite in the pro plan is Rachel. Free ones, Ava and Ethan are good. I'll play Ava for you. This is a non-pro voice, so they also have good ones there. I'll generate the audio once again, and then I'm gonna click play. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? You can see that's a pretty good voice for a non-paid plan voice. Now, if we then go over to Speechello and we compare it to this, Speechello, I would say, just loses in every single element. The voices are extremely bad compared to Murph and Well Set Labs, which I'll show you right now. These are voices that are still in here. Hi, I'm Billy. I am a native English speaker. This is just text-to-speech. It screams text-to-speech, whereas Murphy AI and Well Set Labs now have voices where you can be like, hmm, sounds like an actual human being. And the worst part here on Speechello is that the normal plan comes with the normal voices. If you pay the normal plan, $47, this is what you get. Hi, I'm Billy. So yeah, you get what you pay for, I would say, because it's $47. Now, I actually upgraded this to Speechello Pro so that I can use the pro voices back in the day. For example, Andrew. Hi, my name is Andrew. I am a native English speaker. But you can see that still is not gonna beat it compared to Murph AI or, or Well Set Labs. What I don't like here as well, you don't have the feature to load in a script, whereas on Murph AI, you can import a script. And what I like or dislike the most on Speechello is that they never upgrade. So I've bought this like two and a half years ago. I've spent like $300. It's a one-time payment to get the pro plan back then. So that was fine, but they've never upgraded it. They never added great new voices. It doesn't seem like they're working on making an upgrade anytime soon. Whereas Murph AI is constantly updating voices well Set Labs is also an actual company innovating, whereas Speechello is just a cash grab from the owners. That's what it looks like to me. So with that being said, Speechello is only $47. So if that's your maximum budget, yes, you can pay for it. It does generate a text-to-speech. You can see I've been using it for a while. Is it good though? No, it is not. So Speechello comes in last place. Then we've got Murph AI. Murph AI usability as well as voices are pretty decent. The usability, I would say, wins it over Well Set Labs in terms of how the studio works, everything. Um, the voices, though, they're a little bit less quality than Well Set Labs, and we'll also see that back in the pricing because on Murph, you pay $26 a month for the pro plan. If you pay monthly, it's $39, whereas on Well Set Labs, it's probably gonna be 89. You can go with the $44 one, but this doesn't really hold up because you only have five projects. Here you've got 50, so you can only make five videos or five projects, whatever kind of content you create per month, which is not really worth it for most people. If you make less, then this plan is good. However, comparing it to the quality of voices, Well Set Labs wins. So it's a bit of a mix. If you have the money, then I would say go with Well Set Labs, all right? If you have this budget available, then Murph AI still gets the job done. They still have pretty good voices. Ava is great, Rachel is great, and they've got a few more. So once again, Murph AI is not bad. I like the usability. I like the features they have, such as the voice changer. I'll leave a link for a tutorial about that in the description down below as well. The general, where you can choose the tone, the pitch, the speed, pauses, and the general. This is something they actually added recently, where you can choose the tone of the voiceover. For example, customer service, she's now gonna talk in that specific tone. Newcast casual, she's gonna talk in that tone. I'll show you the difference between that. So first, this is a general. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? I'll then put it into the customer service. Let's see if we can notice a big difference. Depending on which role you choose, maybe you'll find a big difference, maybe not. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? You can see it's slightly different, uh, for example, angry. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? You can see it put that perfectly. So that's a feature I like. Well said labs, they don't have that as far as I'm aware as of right now, but still it sounds pretty good. So with that being said, Speechello comes in last place. I wouldn't buy it. Don't recommend. Murph AI, I recommend, as well as Wellsite Labs. Murph AI is a little bit lower budget, but still, it's a pretty good tool. Voices sound great. Usability is perfect. And then Wellsite Labs, usability is totally fine. Um, and then the voices are much better. So that is kind of it. You pay for the type of voice that you get, basically, is what we can get from these softwares. 
I'll leave links as well as platform tutorials in the description down below so you can get started with free trials as well as understand how the platforms work. So check out those links in the description and then I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, by the way, let me know and then I'll see you next time.